What is going on guys? Gray here today. I'd like to kind of give you my initial thoughts of the Modern Warfare 3 beta. Now, I played for several hours last night, a couple hours today, and it has been a very enjoyable experience. So far, there's just a few things that I kind of hope that Sledgehammer changes before the game is released. Before I get into all the details, be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. And if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, I hope you consider subscribing. Now let's talk about the things that, you know, kind of caught my attention when I first started playing. Um, the movement in the game is great. Compared to Modern Warfare 2, the movement is absolutely phenomenal. I felt kind of slow and clunky in, you know, last year's Modern Warfare 2. And it was, you know, kind of that old school feeling of that original Call of Duty game. Uh, you know, the original COD 4, COD 2. Modern Warfare 3, those games, you know, didn't have a lot of movement. It, those were sort of slower feeling type games. But over the years, we've had a lot of improvements to movement in game. And I felt like last year's Call of Duty game was kind of a step backwards when it comes to movement. And the movement in the MW3 beta is really good. Slide canceling is back, but there is a bit of delay. So don't worry, it's not quite as crazy as it was a few years ago in 2019. But slide canceling is there, and you can move around the map, move around the map really quickly. The time to kill. This is going to be kind of an issue. This is always an issue in Call of Duty games. Some people like a slower time to kill. Some people like a faster time to kill. This game definitely has a, a, a slower time to kill, more like your older Black Ops games, uh, Black Ops Four, uh, maybe even Cold War. You know, it takes a little bit more to kill someone, and I kind of like that personally. I know not everyone may agree, but. You don't really get punished for running around the map if you want to run and gun because you don't get just absolutely destroyed as soon as someone pulls the trigger. Also, if you get in a gunfight, you have to hold that weapon on them. So it makes it a little bit more interesting, you know, in some long range gunfights, mid range gunfights, because you're not able to just kill someone instantly as it feels like you can in Modern Warfare 2. You actually have to have that, you know, little bit of gun skill. So I do think it creates a bit of a skill gap in the game when you have a higher time to kill. And I do enjoy that personally for me uh the maps are absolutely awesome i know a lot of people may not like that there are remastered maps and we will be getting some new maps when the game releases and in my honest opinion i'm really not expecting much from these new maps because over the last several 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 years i think the last game that i really liked the original maps in was probably black ops 4 most call of duty games lately the original maps they come out with the new maps are not that good i like the old school remastered maps and I'm glad we finally got some really old school remastered maps. What I've been playing in the beta so far has been absolutely awesome. Uh, it reminds me of when Modern Warfare 2 originally came out. I absolutely loved that game and I loved all those maps. And the team over at Sledgehammer has done a wonderful job remastering these maps without changing really too much. They just look a lot better. You know, everything's a little bit more colorful. Um, everything, you know, just, it's just kind of an upgrade to what we had in the past but they still feel very similar. And if you are new to the game uh, and you really have not ever played many Call of Duty games, you did not play mo the original Modern Warfare 2, you're going to be in for a treat when it comes to these maps because they are wonderful. Now, when it comes to the new perk system, I really do like this. The perk, I guess I should say, slash gear system. I think this is a good spin on the older system that we've had for a long time. This is a new fresh idea to kind of freshen up how the perks work. And plus, you're unlocking a lot of those perks, uh, you know, kind of right off the bat. You're not having to wait too long on some stuff. You have a good bit of available to you right now in the beta. And, of course, some things we don't have available because, you know, you have to be a certain level still to unlock some of the items. But overall, the new kind of perk slash gear system is a really unique idea. And also, being able to wear different types of, you know, what I would call, you know, your vest or your flag jackets. They give you some different uh, abilities as well. To get more perks or you know a better upgrades for you know tactical equipment you know that kind of thing so i like the way that they have kind of like i said put a new spin on the old kind of perk system we've had in the game since call of duty really first came out now of course if you're a fan of getting nukes in call of duty that is something that is available in modern warfare 3 as well it is a 30 kill streak this is a straight uh, gun streak so you cannot use kill streaks to uh, be able to get a, a nuke in game and it will end the game, which I know a lot of people are kind of disappointed with. Uh, when Modern Warfare 3, the original Modern Warfare 3 was out, I liked that you could just pretty much stack nukes over and over. Uh, it did not end the game. I was kind of hoping that would be back, but sadly that is not the case. But nukes are available. And like I said, it's up a bit from what we've seen in the past. It used to be a 25 kill streak. Now that is a 30 kill streak. 
Now, there's a few things in game that I don't like, and I'm going to talk about those now, visibility being one of them. I don't know what it is about Modern Warfare games, and this has gone back as long as I can remember, even back to the original COD 4, Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3. The visibility I have never really liked in Infinity War or Sledgehammer games. It's very, you know, you're kind of grays, browns, greens. A lot of things blend together, and it's kind of hard to see enemies at times, and sometimes you will even be shooting at teammates because the dot above their head is not very large at all. That may change uh, once the game is released. But there is one thing that I kind of see as a positive, considering that we're going to get all of these skins and things that are going to carry over we have right now available to us in Modern Warfare 2. Visibility may be a bit better, because a lot of those skins that are in Modern Warfare 2 are really bright and colorful. It's just the skins that we have right now are a little bit dull, kind of with the background, so it kind of all just blends in. I think when we get some of those Modern Warfare 2 skins in the game, that may improve visibility because as we all know, a lot of those skins have gotten just kind of crazier and crazier over the life cycle of the game and a lot brighter. So, and who knows exactly what skins we're going to get in, you know, Modern Warfare 3 going for us throughout the next year. So that's probably going to be a good thing. Uh, you know, those skins are a bit brighter, but we'll kind of have to wait and see. But right now in the beta, all the skins that are available, they just kind of blend in and it's kind of hard to see. Visibility is a bit of an issue in my opinion. Uh, one thing that kind of just, it's not really a deal breaker to me, but just kind of bothers me or irks me is there's no deaths on the scoreboard again. Now this has been kind of a controversy of over the years about people saying that you know, they're trying to hide people's KDs and they don't want people to, you know, see their KD if they're not playing well. And, you know, that kind of whole ties into skill-based matchmaking thing. However, you know, you know, or however you feel about it, whatever you think about it, or however Sledgehammer feels about it, I wish they would just add the deaths back to the game. I wish we could see when you pull up the scoreboard, no matter if you're playing team deathmatch, domination, hardpoint, whatever the case may be, I would like to be able to see your kills and deaths on that scoreboard. And when it comes to the streaks, what we have available, which is a very small sample size right now, I'm not really impressed with them. Now, I don't want overpowered streaks in Call of Duty, but if you're like me, you've played COD since it's come out, you've played every Call of Duty game ever. Uh, kill streaks back in the day used to feel like something, you know, when you got them, you actually got something that you were going to get some extra kills, that you were going to have a good game, you know, that you were going to be possibly top of the scoreboard in the, in the lobby. Now, kill streaks over the years just feel kind of weak. They're just, a lot of times, I don't even run anything with UAV, counter UAV, and maybe one of these smaller kill streaks or maybe an advanced UAV, because I feel like the kill streaks overall are just kind of weak. And then at times when they buff them, they get way too strong, so then they have to change them. I don't know if it's just over time I've gotten kind of used to kill streaks not being that good and I just feel like every COD game they're just very weak or if I really just enjoy you know gunplay more maybe that's what it is but I don't really feel like the kill streaks that we have available in the beta and that's not saying the ones that will be available in the game won't be good but what we have right now in the beta are not that great but leave me a comment with your thoughts let me know what you think about the uh, Modern Warfare 3 beta have you got to play it yet? Did you pre-order? Are you waiting for the open beta to start here in a couple days on PS5 or next week on Xbox and PC? Like I said, leave me a comment with your thoughts. Let me know what you think about the game. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.